Hi, Anna Fernandez here, and in this video, we're going to briefly talk about third-party discovery production requests. Now, generally speaking, discovery is information that's exchanged between parties within a lawsuit to further their investigation of their cases. So, for example, in, in order for discovery to be discoverable or, or in order for you to request certain documents, statements, um, certain things from the other party, it's, it has to be relevant. Of course, so there's protections, there's attorney-client privilege, there's certain objections that you could definitely raise, but the main pretty much basic understanding that you should take away from this video uh, with respect to uh, discoverable information is that it has to be relevant. Does it have a tendency to prove or disprove the issues that are before the court? And, and that really, at the end of the day, is what what makes it relevant. Um, so if someone is not a party to the lawsuit, you could still request certain documentation um, in, the, in the form of, of a production request, and it would be a third party production request. And these do require procedural things to be done. It has to be done in order to get to the to the point where you can actually ask for these uh, documents properly. So it's very important that you either speak to a professional or check out the rules of your local state or your, your local county in your state and, and see what the process is. So in Florida, you can make these requests by filing it, but before you issue a subpoena, after, you have to uh, issue a subpoena, but before you do that, you have to give the other party the opportunity to to submit an objection. So it's again very it's procedural. So you have to make you got to check with your your rules and make sure that you're doing it within the time frame. In Florida, if if you're doing the if you're providing the other party notice of this production that you want to seek from a third party, for example, a bank, uh, um, a bank, it could be an employer, former employer, it could be an institution, if you want to ask for these documents, you have to file a notice to and provide notice to the other party. And if this notice is given through email or hand delivery, then they will have 10 days to object to this request. If the notice is given through snail mail, <laughs> through the mail, then you have 15 days and that's in Florida. So please check your local rules for whatever county in the state that you live in. So if you have any questions, regarding Florida law, law in general, or anything really, send us an email, shoot us a comment, uh, contact us so that we can help, uh, so that you can help us and let us know uh, content that we can uh, develop to help better serve our community. Thanks.